eliminated. Monday um, and I am off today and it is the first Monday that I've had off in a while and it just so happens to be my prep day for all my like food and produce and all of that so I figured I'd take you guys along for what that kind of looks like seeing that I have the day off and normally I'm trying to cram it in before work uh, but yeah we're just gonna kind of have a chill day at home and enjoy just being off. <laughs> uh, I have split days off this week. So I'm off today and then I'm off Thursday, which is really weird. But at the same time, I don't really mind it. Cause like I work two days and then I'm off and then I work three days and then I'm off. Uh, and it just kind of is like a nice break from having to, uh, you know, get to the bus and do the whole work thing. So I don't mind it. Um, but yeah, we're starting the day off by going to the gym and doing a full body session. Uh, my Costco order will probably come halfway through because that is just how it works. <laughs> so we'll probably have to stop mid, mid workout, grab the food, take it back to the house, finish the workout, and then take care of all the, uh, all the produce and all the things. But yeah, let's just have a fun day off and I will show you kind of like, not an in-depth, but just an overview of how I keep myself organized for the weekdays ahead. groceries delivered check now we're gonna go home and do a bunch of meal prep um I do have a five mile run later I'm not gonna lie I'm not looking super forward to it but um I think that's the key to marathon training is just the discipline part of it and overcoming that like mental hurdle so I'm gonna tell myself that I am excited to do it um, I'll probably wait till a bit later, like eat lunch and all of that, and then do it. It won't take me that long. It'll probably be tops 35, 40 minutes, but still, we uh, are just going to enjoy our day off, and I'm probably going to grill my chicken, um, get some outside time. Today is supposed to be the solar eclipse, so that's a little interesting. Um, I'm not really sure what time or I don't really know anything about it, but I just know that it's April 8th and yeah, there's a solar eclipse. So also, can we just admire the pimple? A bunch of girls outside and I was like, ah, I'm going to just wait till, till I get in the house. But yeah, can we just admire the pimple I woke up with on my cheek? I have not had a pimple in like forever. So I was pretty surprised when I woke up to it. I'm trying my best to leave it alone. Um, <laughs> but as you know, that is sometimes easier said than done, especially when it like hurts and this one kind of hurts. So if you know, you know, but I'm going to go put my stuff away, wash up my face to hopefully clean that guy out. And then we're going to get prepping. Let me show you my floor at the moment. All the goodies. We got um, tofu because I really want to make my sesame tofu, I haven't had it in forever. And then I got cooked sticky white rice to go with it. I got more diced tomatoes cause I was out. Almond milk, I was like flat out. This might be kind of gross, but I had to stretch out my almond milk for two days of my peanut butter banana cereal bowl. So I actually added water in my cereal. Um, yeah, desperate times call for desperate measures. Uh, we also have all the produce and then um, some more of the cauliflower pizza because it did pretty well with my stomach. And then um, strawberries and all the goodies. Oh, I also got IQ bars. Um, I 
got these because they were on sale and the RX bars were like $10 more and I just could not. So, um, I've had the IQ bar brand before and they're pretty good. They're not as like filling in my eyes, um, but they still have the same amount of protein and everything. So hopefully they will do all right. There's peanut butter chip, chocolate sea salt, and almond butter chip. So I don't know. I guess I'll have to review those for you. I also got mushrooms and peppers for my grilled chicken tonight. And yeah, lots of fun stuff. So I'm gonna go get ready. That way I can put this mess away. I also have a few other things that I always do on my days off. Number one being cleaning my sheets. Um, I try to clean them every week just because, you know, you get kind of gross and it's actually like recommended that you clean them every week for, you know, like dust bunnies and all that. So uh, my sheets are currently in the wash and I will do my laundry on my next day off, which is Thursday. So, um, yeah, we just kind of try to spread it out and balance the laundry loads, but I wanted to do my sheets today and then I'll do my clothes Thursday because I did them last Thursday, so then that would have been a full week. Uh, the only things that I have to wash more frequently are my workout clothes, obviously, because those get really gross, but all my other clothes I can normally go a week to even six or eight days without washing them. Um, but yeah, alrighty. I'm gonna stop procrastinating here and get moving.
did all the things that were bothering me and it feels so good to be done. I am starving, um, but it was worth it. <laughs> I got my pantry kind of like reorganized, wiped it out, all of that. I wiped out my spice drawer that had pepper and salt and all the spices all over on it. I cleaned the counters, swept the floors, cleaned out my Brita, cleaned out my toothbrush holder that has been bothering me because I do not like when that gets all gunky and gross. Um, I swapped my laundry. Yeah, we just, oh, I took out the trash. It was great. It was a solid two and a half hours of cleaning, that's for sure. Um, but I am probably gonna get myself some food now and work on some editing and computer admin stuff. And then we'll probably go on the five mile run while it's still so sunny and beautiful. Um, I'm not sure about this eclipse thing because I was told that it was around three and um, I'm gonna be honest, I saw nothing, absolutely nothing. So <laughs> I know Florida obviously wasn't like really part of the like where it would be most visible. So for all I know, it already passed. But yeah, I'm okay with that because I remember the last time we had one, it was really strange and really weird. Uh, I mean, it was cool, but it was kind of weird too. <laughs> like the fact that it got dark out in the middle of the day was just really odd. Um, but yeah, I also have some packages that might have been delivered. So we're gonna have to go and look for those, see if they came. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, my roommate came home and said that, well, she sent us a text this morning at 6.30, but your girl was long asleep, um, that there, she thought she saw a little cockroach, excuse me, not little, um, a cockroach underneath the stove this morning, and I was like, oh, that's not good. Thankfully, I have cockroach traps, or like traps and stuff. But I'm just praying that we can coexist. He can live under the stove and never come out. Um, yeah, because I don't care to see him. And then she's like, I was going to step on him. I'm like, why didn't you step on him? She's like, I didn't want him all over my shoe. And I'm like, but it's better to have him on your shoe than like on our floor. But it's okay. We we will take care of the brooch. I'll keep you updated if he he comes out, but um, for the time being, I just hope that I never have to encounter him. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm asleep most hours when he is slash would be coming out, so I don't know, fingers crossed. I just, I don't care if he lives under there, okay? But if he comes out, that's where we have a problem. So yeah, all that said, I am going to get some food and work on some editing. Let's do it. We're changed, um, and I have my little water bottles filled. I have something in my eye. It is bothering me terribly. Um, and yeah, I think we're going to do full-blown beast mode today. We are going to do no headphones because um, it's only like five miles. So I feel like adding that extra element, that extra challenge of like not having... When you're wearing headphones, you're kind of blocking out what you're doing and you're just like, you can focus on the music, um, which is great for long runs because you get bored. Um, but I also think it's good to challenge yourself and experience what it's like to run without headphones. Um, I'm gonna be honest, most of my trail runs, I never wear headphones ever uh, since being in Florida because there's just not much to stare at except for a bunch of parking lots, I normally do. But I want to add that extra element, that extra mental challenge. Um, so we're gonna do it without. And then after, I'm probably gonna come home and make my bed and fold some laundry and call my family. Oh yeah, and I had a package delivered. I got an email, so we have to pick that up. And I'm hoping and praying that my credit card also came because some little stinker uh, somehow hacked into my credit card and was going to charge a hundred dollars and they blocked it and so I had to do this whole thing get a new one all that fun stuff and I've been waiting for about a week for the new one so fingers crossed it's here because it's a little tricky living without one <laughs> um I've just been using my debit card but like you don't get the rewards so I don't know I prefer my credit card a lot more so I would rather have that than my debit card and 
use that for my shopping and all of that. But other than that, let's go on a run. Mile three. It's so weird running without headphones, but kind of nice at the same time. Enjoying the breeze. Sweating very minimally. <laughs> but yeah, we're just taking this run easy today. Tomorrow's gonna be a little bit more run heavy, so I just wanna do a slow pace run today. getting things done. I folded my laundry, made my bed, uh, grilled my chicken, and all that fun stuff. And now I am making some dinner. Um, it's just the leftover Cajun pasta I had from last week. And then, yeah, I'm probably just going to work on some more editing and kind of just chill out the rest of the night um, because I need to try to be in bed by 1.30 is my goal. Um, so yeah. The sooner I am able to relax myself, the better. But yeah, it was kind of fun. I just have had a pretty nice, relaxing like night. I feel like morning started off a little hectic, but I would rather my morning be hectic than my night. So this is kind of enjoyable. And although I'm a little bit terrified to have earlier, earlier shifts this week, um, I think it'll be kind of nice to be home before midnight, you know? So. We'll just kind of feel things out, but I will update you guys in a bit after I eat my dinner and do some editing, and then we'll probably wrap up this vlog. Hello, everybody. It is a bit later. Um, once again, I kind of just forgot to pick up the vlog camera, and I'm so sorry. Um, but I really haven't been doing much that was vlog-worthy, honestly. I just ate dinner, worked on some editing, I did my stretches and all the fun stuff, changed into my PJs, and now I'm probably just going to watch a show and head to bed. But yeah, I figured this would be a perfect place to wrap up um, before I get too sleepy and make no sense. But thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. I feel like it was a very productive, yet like, I was okay just being home today. I didn't feel like going out or really you know, my social battery was just really drained. I'm going to be completely honest. I was just needed a day to chill out and not talk to anybody or feel obligated to talk to anybody. And it was really nice. I, you know, I'm an extrovert and an introvert. Like it just depends on the day. And today I just lived in my full introvert self. I mean, I, from the minute I got up, actually it started last night. I just wanted a day where I could just not have to literally just be by myself. Like, although these days don't really happen as often for me as the extroverted let's go out and do something days, I still appreciate them all the same. I think that on these days is when I do my best thinking um, and just really, you know, reflecting on where I'm at. and. That's definitely how I felt today, right down to, I mean, heck, even music in my headphones felt too loud. Like, I haven't ran down here without headphones in in a really long time, and I don't know, today I just wasn't in the mood. I just wanted to hear my own thoughts and kind of be by myself, and it was amazing. So if any of you guys ever feel guilty for not wanting to talk to anybody or be around or do anything on your weekend, do not feel bad because I think that these days are crucial to our growth as a human and um, they help us improve ourselves. So 
yeah, I am probably just going to spend the rest of the night with myself. And yeah, tomorrow we have work. Uh, and then Wednesday I have work and then I'm off again. So I will probably pick up the vlog camera then. But thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. I love all of you very much and I will see you on Thursday. Good news guys. The roach has been eliminated. I was no, in like, bed. very big. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, it's a softener. <laughs> I was in bed, and I hear... <laughs> I was like, is there like a puppy dying outside? What is going on? And, um, I go <laughs> into the main part of the bathroom, and Abby, my roommate, is, has... The Clorox sitting out and her hair bottle of like shampoo or something, and she was like, there, There's a fox, there's a cockroach in there. So I looked, and um, we had a little friend, and uh, he's pretty fast too. So we, <laughs> after about 10 minutes of contemplating life and wondering what to do with it, um, I found this fabric softener stuff in our laundry area and I squirted it while she put on the shoes and uh yeah we smushed it and it made a pop it was so gross and I apologize to all of our neighbors because they probably just thought we got murdered <laughs> um but the good news is it's dead and we can sleep in peace now <laughs> rest in peace